Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video will be dedicated to the eclipse that's happening in Libra on March 25 um, at 5 degrees and 7 minutes. Although, you know, this will be happening on the 25th, uh, the changes that are going to happen are going to be felt for a long time. Um, and so, just like with the other videos, I will be going through the 12 zodiac signs and show you and describe what changes you may have. Of course, it all depends on your uh, natal chart also and if the eclipse is happening next to a planet um, or aspect aspecting planets in your chart. So, keep that in mind as you go through your zodiac sign. Remember that I follow Western astrology. Um, tropical zodiac and that's pretty much it let's get going first we're starting with Aries um, Aries the eclipse is happening in your seventh house of partnerships of open enemies and contracts I can see a lot of you Aries having somebody new show up in your life that you have some uh, karmic ties with it could it doesn't have to be in a negative way it could also be somebody that's very positive uh, this could be a romantic partner or a business partner or it could just be that you are starting a contract uh, during this time that you have some karmic ties with and when I say karmic it's because the eclipse is happening with the south node so this is something that's coming from a previous life or if you don't believe in that, it's just something that's coming from your past deeds, things that you have done in the past and you're kind of getting rewarded um, during this eclipse. Pluto is supporting uh, <clears throat> from your 11th house. So you might have friends, um, social media friends also that might be supporting you um, in this partnership, in this contract that you're doing. Uh, you may also have individuals from your community that are quite supportive also. Um, or you might also have an individual that will now help you in your long-term goals, help you um, make some dreams come true, have some wishes fulfilled uh, during the eclipse. <clears throat> At the time of the eclipse, the North Node is still in close conjunction to Chiron in your first house. Um, so I do still see a lot of you areas just working on getting healed uh, from your from your traumas, um, working on, on getting your identity healed, on understanding who you are, and just like showing up more... Um, enthusiastic with more light with a healed aura um you know to the people around you so um it's it's a wonderful time for you to be honest uh saturn on the other hand and venus from your 12th house are sextiling jupiter and uranus in your second house uh, so you may have individuals that are hidden away um that are not like in front of you that are actually supporting you especially especially when it comes to your personal income on how you make money on how you spend your money uh, but also in your personal values, uh, somehow there are there are people that just um, really like you and just want to support you behind the scenes. Um, Twelfth house is also the house of dreams, um, and also spiritual downloads. So you may have these amazing ideas, creative ideas on how to improve your finances on how to make more money, on how to increase maybe your, your streams of income. So um, it's a very positive time for your finances. Um, the 12th house is also the house of foreign lands. Um, so some of you Aries could also be making money out of that. Um, and with, the, with Pluto being in your 11th house, of social media and large masses of people uh, maybe you are earning money through foreign lands and individuals that are abroad um, um, you might be earning money through that way or it could be that these people are just really supporting you in improving your self-confidence in increasing your values your standards in understanding who you are and just healing yourself also um, so amazing, amazing things. Uh, this is kind of like the um, 
astrological weather during this eclipse i really hope wonderful things happen to you aries um, that you have individuals that support you and why not have individuals that are not serving you anymore be removed from your life uh, remember that ec eclipses are quite faded um, sometimes things that happen during eclipses have no coming back uh, but know that it's always for your own good like I promise that it's always going to be for the best of your soul progression and soul evolution during this time okay this is what I have for you Aries enjoy this time remember to like and subscribe if you resonated and like this um, video now we have Taurus Taurus suns moons and risings um, the eclipse is happening in your sixth house of health of day-to-day -day job of your day-to-day -day routines and pets um, I can see a lot of you Tauruses removing unhealthy ra uh, habits I was about to say rabbits um, but removing a lot of unhealthy habits from your life I can see a lot of you becoming more disciplined especially with Saturn in your 11th house just becoming a lot a lot more disciplined in your daily life to be able to achieve your long-term goals, to be able to achieve your long-term plans and dreams. Um, I do see some of you um, changing jobs or changing responsibilities in your job. Either you know, either you're being taken away from your job or the job is just being removed from your life. And that's because it's not serving you anymore. Uh, remember that Pluto is transiting your 10th house. It's making major changes and transformation to your career, to your public persona. So this eclipse is really helping you remove um, unhealthy routines, unhealthy habits that are not serving your career anymore, that are not serving your long-term goals anymore. The eclipses, however, sometimes bring... Um, new things into your life and so you may build these new routines these new habits um, and also healthy habits uh, that are going to serve you more um, eclipses are quite faded in nature so these things could happen quite suddenly you may feel this strong inspiration to make the necessary changes in your life or it could be that you are forced somehow to do so um, and especially you know with the sixth house also being the house of health um, you might some of you might have some health condition that forces you to change things up and I'm not talking about like super serious things it could just be you know getting more sunlight you know walking a bit more like just simple things that you might feel very inspired to implement in your life um, as I mentioned earlier Pluto is supporting the eclipse from your 10th house of career of public persona and authoritative figures um, so you might have somebody that's quite authoritative helping you make the necessary changes in your day-to-day -day life it could also be that somebody helps you in your day-to-day -day job to take on more responsibilities or to remove certain responsibilities that are not serving you anymore that are just not good for your performance um, Pluto supporting from your 10th house of career and public persona could also mean that you're making these changes in your routine so that you are um, seen as somebody different transformed from the outside in the public eye um, and also you may want to be seen as like differently you maybe are implementing things that change your public status uh, you know from single to married from um, employed to unemployed or the other way around just you know public persona anything that you're known for at the time of the eclipse the north node is still in, in close conjunction to chiron in your 12th house so i can see a lot of you tauruses continuing to heal your subconscious mind continuing to heal yourself from a lot of traumas uh, some of you could also be resting more um, some of you could be using dreams and entering other realms like you know using meditation yoga to heal yourself to heal your heal your subconscious mind and um, to really empower yourself um, because again Pluto is in your 10th house so you're making a lot of transformation when it comes to your public persona and your career and so the North Node and Chiron could really be helping you 
heal yourself in so many ways and understand your self-sabotaging patterns that should you know should not be serving you anymore um so incredible incredible time when it comes to healing when it comes to making things come to reality and i also um i always say this to um to you guys in my videos never sleep on the 12th house 12th house is very powerful it doesn't have limit it just depends on how much work you put into it so if you're working constantly in your self-sabotaging patterns and removing things that are not serving you anymore mentally spiritually then you're really gonna going to get rewarded and it's going to be seen um in your public life is going to be seen in your partnership is going to be seen in your family life you know in all the other ways um during this eclipse saturn and venus from your 11th house are sextiling jupiter and uranus in your first house so remember tauruses like no matter what happens during eclipses um for the first part of this year jupiter is still in your sign so you're getting this amazing protection blessings from um from the sky you know or from god whichever you believe in um so you're getting this amazing protection and you're also having people support you you may be having friends you may be having networks that support you you may be having so people from the social media uh people from the internet that are supporting you and giving you love um and just you know liking anything that you're putting out there um and you might also receive some kind of support that's going to be quite surprising that you may not be expecting but that's going to be very beneficial to you since you still have uranus in your first house okay tauruses this is the astrological weather during the eclipse that we're having in libra i really hope that you receive the maximum of blessings during this eclipse remember that eclipses happen for a reason they are faded anything that happens during this time trust me trust me it's going to be for your benefit um so as always if you liked and resonated with this video uh, please give it a like and remember to subscribe now we have gemini suns moons and risings the eclipse is happening in your fifth house of fun children creative endeavors and artistic abilities for a lot of you gemini's you might remove or be removed from some type of fun and entertaining activity that is just not serving you anymore or that is making you indulge into it so uh, you may be removing this kind of um entertainment from your life uh, but that's going to be quite beneficial for you remember eclipses are faded events and they um really help in the soul progression in our life so anything that's happening during this time just know that it's happening and it's contributing in your soul progression um on during this eclipse you might feel inspired to start a new creative endeavor that's really coming back from a past life if you don't believe in past lives it could be coming back from like your childhood or from a time when you really were interested on this creative endeavor and so the eclipse is bringing this into your life now so that you know you can um learn more about it you can become more spiritual about it and maybe you know invest more on it or potentially uh try to make money out of it or just to teach people um when it comes to it and that's because pluto is supporting the eclipse from the ninth house of higher knowledge of teaching of uh, wisdom and spirituality so um, pluto could really be supporting you into learning and embracing this creative ability that you have or artistic ability that you have uh, also remember to stay close to your children during this time this is the five house the fifth house sorry of kids uh, so remember to stay close to your children, make sure that they are safe um, and just spend more time with them. For a few of you Geminis, you could also gi be giving birth to a new child during this time. Eclipses also, you know, tend to bring you things. So fifth house of children, you might have a new member joining you. Um, at the time of the eclipse we also have a north node in close conjunction to chiron in your 11th house so a lot of you gemini's are healing when it comes to your friendships uh you are healing when it comes to your groups of friends 
um, and also how you show yourself in social media. I have so many Gemini friends that are just posting and posting these amazing videos and pictures of them and you can tell that they're glowing like they've done this work when it comes to healing um in 11th house matters so a lot of you gemini's are going through that and this is an incredible time to have yourself heal from um, maybe unhealthy friendships and individuals that you know might have hurt you in the past um at the time of the eclipse saturn and venus from your 10th house are sextiling jupiter and uranus in your 12th house and so you're getting this constant support from Saturn in your 10th house and Venus that's beautifying things, making you look a lot more attractive, a lot more um, happy, more beautiful in the public eye and the way how people are seeing you. Um, and you may also be receiving some support from hidden things, from individuals that are not in front of you. That are helping you and supporting you behind the scenes um, in very shocking ways and in surprising ways and you will feel this even more when uh, we have the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction in April which I have a whole video about make sure to check that out if you haven't yet uh, but you are going to receive this amazing exposure and blessings um, that are going to be quite shocking for you uh, because Jupiter and Uranus are in your 12th house. 12th house doesn't have limits so you might receive this huge exposure, huge support from um, individuals or just you know from different realms like you may be doing the work when it comes to meditating, manifesting and you're getting all these blessings now in your 10th house of public persona, in your career, in the way how people view you, in how you are known into the world and how you're contributing to the world. Um, so this is what I have for you Gemini's um, I feel like I should talk a bit more about Pluto though that's supporting this eclipse from your ninth house uh, ninth house is also the house of foreign travel so you may have this um, sudden opportunity to, to travel abroad uh, that the eclipse is bringing you that's going to teach you this new creative ability that you have that's going to teach you some artistic abilities or you might even go on this trip with a child you know if you have children um, the ninth house is also the house of legal matters so you're getting some support when it comes to anything legal um, that could also you know be tied to anything that's legal but also to visas um, you know citizenships like things that are tied to foreign lands um okay this is what i see for you gemini's i really hope that you enjoy this time during the eclipse um if you liked and resonated with this video please remember to like and to subscribe now we have cancer suns moons and risings cancers the eclipse is happening in your fourth house of family ancestry home and family life you may have a new member added to your family which could come in as like you know giving birth to a child it could be somebody new joining you you know maybe um you have a new like brother-in-law a new sister-in-law or um your parents are moving back with you your children could be moving back with you um you know just like somebody that's added to your family however at the same time eclipses might remove things from our life so you might have a child that's moving out of your home you might have somebody that could leave your home maybe by passing away um obviously that's going to be the case for only a few of you but you know eclipses are quite unpredictable they either bring you things uh to our life that are quite shocking and surprising or remove them um, it could also be that you may be adding a new activity to your home life that brings the family together, that you spend more time with your family members, or it could be that you remove some kind of routine or that it's like removed somehow from your life, from your family life that was not helping your family spend time together or, you know, to, um, to create bonds with each other. So, you know, that may be removed also.
Pluto is supporting the eclipse from your 8th house of subconscious mind, of hidden things, of shared resources and investments. So you may be receiving some kind of support from your family when it comes to shared resources in a very shocking way because, you know, again, this is an eclipse. Uh, so this could bring this new opportunity in your life. On the other hand, though, uh, it could be the opposite to where some type of shared resource is being removed from your life. And Pluto is helping with that so that it can transform your 8th house matters. It can um, help you focus more on investments, uh, help you make money more uh, personally instead of, you know, using shared resources and also could be removing dependency issues you know when it comes to other people on the other hand you may have some self-sabotaging patterns being removed from your subconscious mind either by you doing the work or it could be that like something happens to you that you're just done with something you're just done with um, negative patterns you're like I don't want to do this anymore and you just start fresh um, on the other hand, this eclipse could bring new healthy habits when it comes to your mental health that are that is going to help you um, achieve your goals, improve the way how you're seen in the world, and of course, just help you with your mental health, just with you feeling better um, during this time. It could also be that the eclipse is bringing some amazing investment opportunity that's being supported by Pluto. Or it could be that some kind of investment um, is removed from your life. However, I, I do see um, something added more than that because Pluto is forming a positive aspect to this eclipse. Um, it's worth mentioning that the eclipse is happening on the south node. So you could have these new opportunities coming to you from your past life deeds. If you don't believe in past lives, it could be that you have just done something in your past during, you know, your youth, your childhood times, uh, just any period in, in your life that might have helped somebody and you are just getting rewarded and um, yeah, you're getting blessed now through your deeds in the past. Um, during this eclipse, we still have the North Node in close conjunction to Chiron in your 10th house. So a lot of you Cancers are going through a lot of changes, transformation when it comes to your career. You're learning from your mistakes, um, not just your career, but also your public persona. And so the North Node with Chiron here, it's still giving you that push to just heal yourself when it comes to the way how you're seen in the public. Heal yourself when it comes to mistakes that you might have done in the public eyes. Um, you may also have this opportunity to just feel better. Like the North Node is really helping you here um, change the way how people see you. And from the wounded healer, you might also become the wounded leader. Like you might become somebody that um, has this leadership abilities to help other people through the same mistakes you might have done in the past and just benefit them and just change the way how others view you. You may also have people reaching out to you um, for help this way increasing your social circle your networks and i say that especially because um, jupiter and uranus in your are in your 11th house and they are being positively aspected um, by saturn and um, venus in your ninth house uh, in a very positive sextile and this is happening during the eclipse so you might be receiving this um support from your uh, friends from your circle of people uh, from your community, from social media, on the way how you're viewed f uh, by the world, but also when it comes to your higher knowledge, your spirituality, um, on the way how you approach things. Maybe people really appreciate the knowledge you give them, the positive things that you teach them. And especially with a Chiron in your 10th house, you're using that knowledge that you have in the past to maybe benefit others and if you're not doing that like I'd strongly advise you to do so because you're going to receive a lot of support Jupiter and Uranus in your 11th house is incredible 11th house is a positive house is a house of 
long-term wishes and goals and you're receiving these amazing blessings in this area of your life like that's incredible that's not always going to be there so i strongly advise you to take advantage of it i do have a video um that's fully dedicated to jupiter and uranus conjunction um that's happening in april so i strongly advise you to listen to that one if you haven't it's going to be um, attached to this video in the end of the video but anyway um, this is kind of the astro the astrology weather that's going on during the eclipse i really hope cancers you're taking advantage of this beautiful time i really hope that beautiful things are being added to your life and unhealthy things are removed from your life so that you can live your you know best possible version of this life um and so this is what I have for you cancers if you liked and resonated with this video remember to show some support with a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next one hello Leo's Leo suns moons and risings the eclipse is happening in your third house of communication of writing publishing sales neighbors and siblings I do see a lot of change for you Leos when it comes to communication. You might be getting this sudden news that is just going to change your life and shake up things. Eclipses are faded events so this is quite faded in nature. It's something that it's you know um, unexperienced before especially with this eclipse in Libra and so you might be getting this news that's going to help you a lot maybe in your partnerships maybe when it comes to creating or making some type of contract or collaboration if you are in the writing industry you may receive this sudden exposure um, that's going to benefit you um, into creating more partnerships uh, for others of you if you are in publishing and sales you may have this sudden opportunity that's going to increase um, your sales or the sales that you make you know when it comes to publishing um, you may also have um, sudden changes that come to your siblings or you may have a new neighbor that's coming you know in the building you live in or neighborhood that you live in or it could be that uh, somebody is going to be removed so a neighbor is going to you know leave and somebody new comes um, so as I mentioned eclipses are quite faded remember that it could happen on both sides so you may also um, have some type of communication be removed from your life or it could be that you receive some type of communication that tells you that something is going to be removed from your life um, and if that's the case like just know that eclipses are faded they are helping you achieve your soul progression achieve your soul goal that you have in this life and so i wouldn't be scared like i would embrace it and just take advantage of it because this is really a blessing that's happening in your life i've seen a lot of my friends that had things removed from their life during eclipses and they were sad and upset in the beginning but holy cow they were always blessings in disguise and i strongly tell you that anything that happens during an eclipse it's a blessing in disguise um so keep that in mind leos um this eclipse is receiving a lot of support from your seventh house of partnerships contracts and collaborations so that's why i say that you might receive some type of communication that could be from a partner either be um a romantic partner or a business partner uh, that is going to be life-changing is going to be shocking but it's going to be beneficial again eclipses you know um, are faded so this is supposed to happen the way it will be happening I do see some of you receiving opportunities for collaborations for contracts that are going to be beneficial to you or you could have contracts and, co and collaborations that are being removed from your life but that's going to also benefit you in one way or the other at the time of the eclipse we have the north node still in a conjunction to Chiron in your ninth house so a lot of you Leos are really investing time and efforts when it comes to increasing your wisdom and knowledge um, and I I do see Chiron here helping out uh, you to understand past traumas to understand past situations that were not serving you and you're using Chiron here to help you heal from them and gain this knowledge 
um, an understanding that is going to benefit you, but also other people, whoever you're teaching, whoever you're sharing your knowledge with. Um, ninth house is also the house of foreign lands. So you might be using like foreign knowledge, cultures, diets, uh, anything that's foreign to really help you heal and gain more knowledge, be more present, become wiser, and also um, increase your knowledge in general. Uh, the ninth house is also the house of legal matters. So a lot of you um, Leos are being supported legally when it comes to, um, you know, just legal cases in general, but also um cases that are associated with foreign lands so it could be you know visas it could be um citizenships like anything that's tied to foreign lands since the ninth house is the house of foreign lands but for most of you i do see a lot of effort being put in spirituality and you're using spirituality to hear to heal yourself and to learn more about yourself so that's really benefiting you during this eclipse, uh, Leos, we also have Saturn and Venus from your 8th house, sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your 10th house. So you're actively working on subconscious, on your subconscious mind to transform self-sabotaging patterns into benefiting you, into benefiting your career and how you're viewed in the public eye. On the other hand, the 8th house is a house of shared resources and investments. So you may be using shared resources to improve your career, to improve how you're being seen by other people. And with Jupiter and Uranus in your 10th house, this is incredible. Like this is an incredible life, an incredible time, sorry, in your life um, that is not always going to be there. So I strongly advise you, Leos, to really work on your career, to really work on your public persona, on how you want to be viewed by the world, because this um, Jupiter and Uranus conjunction it's they are five degrees away from each other during this eclipse but as time goes by they are going to get closer and closer and in april we're going to have the exact conjunction which i have a whole video about and if you haven't seen that make sure you do but um this is going to be very beneficial for you leos i see a lot of you becoming famous getting crazy exposure uh, becoming popular or just having this amazing way on how people view you as though the eclipse is kind of preparing that scenario for you is is preparing all the communication the either be um you know uh spoken communication or writing written communication to prepare the scenario for this amazing conjunction that's happening in your 10th house you may also have increased sales if you are selling if you're in that industry or publishing that is just going to be amazing when it comes to um, you gaining a lot of exposure so this is an, an, an incredible time um, and this is kind of the astrological weather we're, we have going on Leo's during this um, eclipse I really hope you receive amazing blessings I hope you take advantage of um, this entire beautiful sky that we have uh, to take the best out of it if you liked and resonated with this video please remember to like and to subscribe and i will see you on the next one virgo suns moons and risings the eclipse is happening in your second house of personal income money and personal values um okay so i have incredible news virgos when i had eclipses in my second house i made a lot of money and i also have friends that just oof, in one way or the other they just had you, you know this increased income but um this could happen to you but at the same time eclipses could also remove things so i don't want you to like give you um you know this big promise and maybe it doesn't happen like that um but just know that eclipses are quite faded they are unpredictable sometimes astrologers refer to them as full moons and steroids and they are uranian in nature so like quite shocking and unpredictable but this is happening in your second house so you may have this new sudden stream of income that's going to give you a lot of cash a lot of money uh, that's going to be life-changing on the other hand maybe a stream of income that's not been benefiting you could be removed or um it could just be taken away because it's not serving your soul 
um, purpose. It's not serving your sole mission in this life. And so, um, Virgos, I also see a lot of you um, improving the way how you view yourself, your self-confidence, your values. Maybe something happens to you to where you're like, I'm not going to take this anymore from other people. Like, I think about myself more highly. I want to change the way I look at me. I want to change the way how people take me. And so you work on this self-esteem. You work on your personal values. And this eclipse just brings something that shakes up your world to where you're like, okay, I there is something I need to remove from my life. And there is something else I need to bring in to be able to feel more self-confident and more comfortable in my own skin. Pluto is supporting uh, this eclipse from your sixth house of health, of uh, daily routines, and your day-to-day -day job. So some of you Virgos could be really implementing routines that are helping you increase this stream of income. Um, you could be implementing things on your daily routine that are helping you improve your self-worth and the way how you come across um, your standards also on the other hand you may have some um, health related issue that forces you somehow to improve the way how you see yourself or how you make your money and for example um, you may not feel that comfortable staying inside for long periods of time you know working 10 hours a day and you realize that you need to be outside more you realize you want to get more sunlight and so this health issue kind of forces you to change the way how you make money uh, and so maybe you're going to be like oh i will uh, start to build a business or i will start to make more money that i can be more outside you know and get the sunlight this is just an example but it could be any health related issue that could be um, forcing you in one way or the other to change the way how you make money and the way how you view yourself and this could also um, be by implementing new things but also by having things removed from your life so for example if you've been having issues with your sight with your eyes um, maybe the eclipse is going to tell you well you know you can't spend so much time on your screen anymore so um, in some way or the other you remove something from your life where you should not be you know using that much screen time the sixth house uh, where Pluto is sitting at is also the day-to-day -day job so you may have um, more responsibilities added to your daily routine uh, to your daily job that is going to increase your income maybe you get a raise um, maybe you just learn new opportunities in, at your job that make you and help you increase your personal income on the other hand it could be that responsibilities are removed to where you know your your salary or your pay goes down um, but even if that's the case remember the eclipses are faded events that really help you achieve your spiritual goal they force you in one way or the other to remove the things that are not helping you um, achieve your highest potential. And so always remember that eclipses are really benefiting you achieve your soul mission. And anything that happens during this time is at your greatest benefit. It could be a blessing in disguise, but just know that, you know, it's always there. However, um, most likely for a lot of you Virgos you might have this amazing opportunity to increase your income like maybe you gain money from investments um, the stock market like I don't know something that's shocking something that's surprising or you know something that you could could have been working on on the side to increase your income so now you're getting the financial rewards when it comes to that um, during the eclipse we also have the north node in conjunction to Chiron in your eighth house so a lot of you Virgos are working on shared resources, learning from past mistakes to make necessary changes when it comes to them. You may also be putting a lot of time on uh, on investments. Again, learning from past mistakes. This is the wounded healer. So you're learning from past mistakes, you're accepting them, and you're making necessary changes when it comes to shared finances, when it comes to investments. And the North Node is really helping you here. The North Node is telling you that... Um, you have to make these necessary changes when it comes to your financial habits to be able to be re more rewarded financially and to earn more income. Um, 
So this is an incredible time to just focus a lot on your finances and make the necessary changes you've always wanted to do. During the eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus from your 7th house, sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your 9th house. So you might be getting some support when it comes to your partners, be it romantic or not, romantic or business partners or work partners, that is um, benefiting you a lot when it comes to your knowledge, when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to legal matters also, you could have a lot of support by other people when it comes to that. Or you may enter a legal agreement that um, could be quite supportive to you um, in the way how you make money. Um, this aspect that's going on could also benefit you a lot when it comes to spiritual matters. You may become way, uh, a lot more wiser. People could come to you for advice. It could change the way how others view you in a positive way. Um, the ninth house is also the house of foreign lands. So you might get this opportunity to travel with somebody um, internationally. It could be somebody that's from your work. It could be somebody that's, you know, a romantic partner. Um, or it could be that you make some type of um, uh, some type of collaboration with somebody that's from a foreign land. So these are some scenarios that could play out uh, for your Virgos. This is kind of the astrological weather that's happening during the eclipse. I really hope you receive amazing blessings. This is an incredible time. Um, especially with Saturn and Venus in your 7th house and Jupiter and Uranus in your ninth house. Amazing time for you. Uh, when Jupiter and Uranus get closer, they are 5 degrees away from each other at the time of um, this eclipse. But when they get together in April, you're going to have incredible, incredible blessings when it comes to your ninth house. It could be legal matters, it could be foreign uh, travels, it could be higher education, you know, university, um, getting degrees, it could be people that are in foreign lands, if you're in the tourism industry, if you are a teacher of some kind of teacher, you might get this incredible exposure that's really going to benefit you. I have a full on video on the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction, um, so if you haven't checked it out, make sure to do so. But this is a wonderful time in your life, um, Virgos, that you should re really be taking advantage of. And I really hope that you do and that you receive all the blessings that you deserve to have. If you liked and resonated with this video, please remember to show some support, give it a like and remember to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Now we have Libra suns, moons, and risings. You are the stars of the eclipse, Libras. The eclipse is happening in your first house of identity and physical body. I feel like a lot of you Libras are learning to become independent, are learning to um, depend on yourselves other than the other partner, which may be a little uncomfortable since Libra is the sign of partnerships. So now you're learning to be more self-reliant. Now you're learning that you have a lot of values. You have this strong self-worth um, that really benefits other people, that people love about you. And so you're increasing this self-confidence. You're improving the way how you view yourself. And a lot of you... Um, excuse me, a lot of you Libras are also working on your physical body. Maybe implementing health routines, workout routines that improve your health. Maybe you're entering a diet um, suddenly because this is an eclipse, so it happens quite of a sudden. Um, that's going to benefit your physical body in the way how you look and the way how you feel. Um, eclipses also trigger the opposite sign so you might also have a new person being added in your life that's going to benefit your identity who you are your partnership also or it could be that somebody is being removed from your life um, which means that a partnership that's not serving you anymore could come to an end or there could be some challenging and testing that's happening when it comes to that um, but it's going to be beneficial to you in the long run because Libra's Eclipses are quite faded in nature. Um, they bring new things, new sudden things in our lives, but they also remove from our lives also. And astrologers refer to eclipses as full moons and steroids uh, because they're quite unpredictable in, in nature. However, with the nodes always being involved in eclipses, um, they really help you achieve your soul mission and 
achieve the soul progression you need during this time to be able to be more authentic to yourself and to achieve you know your goal that you have in this lifetime and so with the eclipse happening in your first house uh, you may be realizing these amazing things about yourself you may be getting to know yourself more um, that's going to you know increase your self-confidence and you realize that you might not even need somebody else to make yourself feel better that to, to understand your self-worth um, and the way how others view you also because this is an angular house changes could be happening also in your fourth house in your family life in your career in the way how others view you which is the 10th house and also your partnerships um, however Libras Pluto is supporting this eclipse from your fifth house of fun of entertainment artistic abilities and children so you may have this career or uh, sorry this um, creative endeavor that's really helping you in the way how you view yourself and the way how others view you you may have this artistic ability that shows up in your life or that comes back from past lives because this is the south node so um you may have this creative ability, this artistic ability that's coming back to you from a past life. And if you don't believe in past lives, it could be coming to you from a past period in this life. Uh, maybe you, when you were younger, you might have spent a lot of time in this creative ability that you have or artistic ability that, that you have. You somehow left it behind. Now it's coming back to you through this eclipse. And Pluto is supporting you. It's using this artistic ability to transform you, to transform the way how you view life, the way how you entertain yourself, the way how you release stress, um, and the way how you just, you know, have fun with life. The fifth house where Pluto is supporting the eclipse from is also the house of children. So some of you uh, Libras could have this strong, sudden support coming from your children. It could be in a spiritual way it could be in an emotional way it could also be financially it could also be you know in any way that a child supports um, their parent um, for others of you you might have some kind of responsibility that was tied to one of your children being removed from your life that's obviously going to benefit you and help you have more time um, dedicated to yourself to how you spend time with yourself to how you spend time improving yourself and your physical body at the time of the eclipse the north node is still in conjunction to Chiron in your seventh house so you Libras are learning a lot <clears throat> from your partnerships you're learning to accept past mistakes that you have made or your partner might have made um, when it comes to your partnerships um, that now are quite healing for you they're helping you out a lot mentally psychologically because this is a north node that's still in conjunction with Chiron the north node the fate your destiny is really helping you improve these partnerships learn from them um, accept them for what they are and you know make the necessary changes when it comes to them so that you can continue these partnerships um, and in case that they are not benefiting you anymore the eclipse might be helping you remove these partnerships from your life and um, things that happen in eclipses are blessings in disguise like it might not make sense in the moment but obviously it will in the long in the long run you will understand that unhealthy um, partnerships were just not good for you and um, this could also be collaborations that you have with individuals um, co cooperations like business related partners that are just um, not supporting you anymore and you would just accept them for what they are um, you use the lessons that they've given you to heal yourself to heal the future partnerships or the current partnerships that you have going on um, during the eclipse we also have Saturn and Venus from your 6th house sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your 8th house so a lot of your Libras are continuing to use daily routines to remove self-sabotaging patterns when it comes to your mental health uh, you are doing some routines that are really helping you remove these psychological blockages that are keeping you away from um, achieving your potential um, at the same time you may have uh, responsibilities at your daily job that are helping you in your mental health 
or responsibility is being removed from your daily job that could be helping you in your mental health um, you may also be implementing routines or working on implementing routines that are going to benefit your shared finances are going to benefit your investments um, and the way how you manage your shared finances the way how you make money the way how you invest um, and with Jupiter and Uranus in your eighth house uh, Libras, I really want to tell you it could be an incredible time when it comes to blessings related to investments and shared finances. Of course, it's going to heavily depend on your personal chart. But generally speaking, a lot of Libras are going to make a lot of money through investments, you know, maybe through the stock market. Um, just general investments that uh, could be real estate, could be anything. Um, I do have a full on video focused on the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction. Um so make sure to check that out if you haven't yet. But this is an incredible time. Please take advantage of it to receive wonderful, shocking blessings in your life, especially in your finances. Um, and so the eclipse here is preparing the scenario, is preparing the field for these wonderful blessings to come to your life. And it's making the necessary changes when it comes to your identity, when it comes to your physical body, when it comes to the way how you view yourself, your self-confidence, your self-worth, so that you remove all the unnecessary psychological uh, blockages to make these wonderful changes in your life that are coming through uh, the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction that's going to be in April. So this is kind of the astrological weather that we have going on, Libras, during this eclipse. I wish you the very best. I really hope that you receive the wonderful blessings you deserve to have. And if you liked and resonated with this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Hello Scorpio suns, moons and risings. Um, the eclipse is happening in your 12th house of hidden things, of subconscious mind, other dimensions, dreams, rest and recover. You might have something being exposed during this eclipse, Scorpios, that you have not been conscious about, you have had no knowledge about, but the eclipse could be exposing it putting shed or sorry putting some light into it shedding some light into it um, that could be quite shocking and quite life-changing and altering for you at the same time eclipses might hide things from you so you might have something that's being like hidden from you you don't have much knowledge about you can't see it anymore it could be anything that's related to your life Eclipses are quite unpredictable in nature. Uh, astrologers refer to them as full moon steroids. So you might have these unpredictable things happening um, to where something is hidden from you or it's being exposed that is quite shocking for you. Uh, eclipses also ha have a lot in common with your Uranian nature to where they are very shocking and unpredictable. However, Pluto is supporting this eclipse for your, from your fourth house of family, of family life, of real estate and ancestry. So you might have some kind of uh, some kind of support, sorry I can't speak today, some kind of uh, support being received by a family member that's going to be quite sho uh, shocking to you. You might also receive some support when it comes to traveling internationally, moving to a new place, moving to a foreign land, or just changing cities, changing homes, changing houses. Um, the 12th house where the eclipse is happening is also the house of dreams so you might also receive downloads in the form of dreams that are going to expose things in your life um, that you were not aware about on the other hand with pluto being in the fourth house you might receive some um, kind of support from your real estate uh, businesses or real estate inheritance um, you might even like sell something to be able to move abroad you might sell something to be able to pursue some spiritual endeavor that you may have um, you might also find out things when it comes to your ancestors to your family life um, to a family member that's going to be quite shocking something that you didn't expect i can't tell you if it's good or bad because that's the nature of an eclipse it's unpredictable but there could be something that you find out about a family member that's very um, shocking at the time of the eclipse the north node is in conjunction to chiron in your sixth house so a lot of you scorpios are implementing new routines when it comes to your day-to-day -day life that is 
benefiting your health. You're learning from your past mistakes. You're learning um, from, you know, your your mistakes that you've made in the past. Like maybe you drank a lot of alcohol before and you realize it's not good for you. So now you're making the necessary changes to your diet. And um, that's going to benefit your health. That's going to benefit your mental health. Uh, this is the 6 and 12 axis where the eclipse is happening. And so you might have these kind of discoveries that co are coming from your health, from your physical body. They're telling you to make some necessary changes when it comes to your to your health when it comes to your physical body. For others of you, you may have had some kind of addiction that is not serving you anymore. Um, <clears throat> maybe you could have been playing um, video games for a long time. You've realized that you need more social life. So you're implementing these routines, these changes in your day-to-day -day life to where you talk to people more and socialize with others. So it could be anything that's tied you know, to your health. Um, but also to just your daily routines, things that you do on a daily basis. For others of you Scorpios, it could be that you are making some changes when it comes to your day-to-day -day job. You are accepting things that maybe you have done wrongly before or that somebody else has done. And now you're accepting them, you're healing from them, you're learning from them, and you're making the right necessary changes when it comes to your day-to-day -day job to be able to have a happier day-to-day -day life, a happier um, daily routine. At the time of the eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus from your fifth house, sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your seventh house. So um, you might be using some creative abilities to benefit your partnerships, be it romantic or business partnerships. You may also um, approach to your partnerships in a more playful and fun way. To where people see you as like more fun, more um, entertaining to be around. You may also receive support from a partner when it comes to pursuing creative endeavors and artistic abilities. You might also enter a collaboration or a partnership that benefits your creative abilities um, and also your long-term goals and wishes. So the eclipse overall, Scorpios, is really helping you remove mental self-sabotaging patterns um, that could have been blocking you from achieving your highest potential. You might be making this amazing um, new routines in your life or you could be removing unhealthy routines from your life like I mentioned with uh, video games for example. example. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that anything that you could have been addicted to you may be forced to remove from your life right now. And that's going to be beneficial for you uh, and for your soul mission, for what you are supposed to be doing in this life. It's going to create more time for you to pursue maybe artistic ab um, abilities or to make necessary changes in your partnerships. Um, so this is an incredible time to, you know, make those um, changes in your daily routine, work on your mental health, rest a little bit more. Um, and just dive deep into your subconscious mind to understand the self-sabotaging patterns um, and make the necessary changes to help you get to the, your highest potential, get to the person that you want to be seen by others. Um, so this is kind of the astrological weather um, during this eclipse. I wish you the best, Scorpios, and hope that you receive all the amazing blessings you deserve to have during this period. And if you like and resonated with this video, please give, give it a like and remember to subscribe. Hello Sagittarius suns, moons and risings, welcome to your eclipse uh, video. The eclipse is happening in your 11th house of friends, of social networks, social media and community. You might remove some kind of social group from your life that's not serving you anymore, Sagittarius says. Or it could be that you enter a new social group that's going to benefit you. Now the eclipse is happening with the south node. so. This event could be tied to your past life. It could be a social group that's karmic in nature and it's coming from, you know, your past life. But if you don't believe in, in past lives, it could be a group of friends that were maybe your childhood friends, your youth friends, a group of friends that's coming, you know, from your earlier days of your life um, that's going to show up again in your life or that's going to be completely removed from your life. So eclipses are quite um, unpredictable in nature. They have a Uranus 
shocking ability and nature to them. Um, they are also referred to as full moons and steroids, so they are very unpredictable. So it could be that you know these social groups are being removed from your life, or that they're be or you're being added to a group that you are supposed to be in that's going to benefit you in your soul progression and who you were supposed to be as a person. At the same time, for a lot of you Sagittarius, you could gain a lot of exposure in your social media groups, in your social media platforms. A lot of people could be supporting you, could be liking you. At the same time, it could be that um, you decide to remove some type of social media that's maybe taking a lot of time from your from your day-to-day life, um, from you pursuing... Um, your creative abilities and artistic abilities and maybe that could be you know taking time from you having fun you know maybe some of you could be like endlessly scrolling for example social media so you decide that you, that's something you don't want to do anymore and you dedicate the time to having fun to being outside to socializing more with your friends um so that's a scenario that it could play out This eclipse is being supported by Pluto in your third house of communication, of sales, marketing, and writing. So for a lot of you Sagittarius, you could receive some amazing news, some communication that's benefiting your circle, that's benefiting on how you come across in your circle, in your networks, in your group of people. Uh, You may also come across as more authoritative, more convincing, more magnetic in your group of friends in the way how you communicate with them. At the same time, if you are in the sales industry, um, you may receive some sudden like exposure. You may have this large number of things that are being sold and it's helping your business. But at the same time, as I mentioned, eclipses are unpredictable. It could be the other thing around to where Maybe um, something that was not selling well is being removed or you decide to remove it um, to make time for things that are actually working for you. You may also um, gain a lot of exposure when it comes to writing if you're in that industry. And at the same time, something that didn't work before um, could be removed at this time. Um, You may also receive some sudden news, some sudden communication, some sudden communication that's either like written or verbal. Um, that's going to benefit you in your 11th house matters, in the way how you socialize, in the way how you come across in your community also. Uh, It could also be that something changes up and gets transformed in your community. Um, Maybe, you know, new neighbors come in um, or neighbors are removed or it could just, you know, be some changes when it comes to your local community or like new businesses coming in others being removed, maybe places that you used to hang out with your friends a lot is going to be changed or removed or something new is going to be added. So a lot of changes when it comes to that. At the time of the eclipse, the north node though is still in conjunction to Chiron in your fifth house. So a lot of you uh, Sagittarius are learning from your creative abilities, your artistic abilities to... um, be happy more be more happy in your life and to entertain yourself more approach life in a more playful way so you're learning from your past mistakes you're learning from um things that maybe you have done wrong maybe you haven't been that serious about you know it could be something creative some ability that you have that you just left left behind <clears throat> and now you're learning to embrace it, to accept it, and to use this creativity in your day-to-day life uh, and to focus more on on it, um, to help you, you know, release stress and just be happier and approach life with a more uh, fun approach, with a more fun way um, that's going to make you, you know, be more playful, be more joyous, be fun and, um, you know, a good time to be around. Um, Saturn and Venus oh something worth mentioning is that you know the the fifth house is also the house of children so some of you could be healing your relationships with children Um, you may be learning from their mistakes from your mistakes and with a north node here and the eclipse happening in the opposite uh, sign so in this axis you may be forced to um, to heal not forced, but like you may have the opportunity to heal now. You may have the opportunity to um, get another chance with your children and 
spend more time with them, get closer to them, understand each other more, and just accept each other for who you are. Um, <clears throat> sorry, during this eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus from your fourth house, sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your uh, sixth house. So you're receiving a lot of support from your family members. Um, you may also have some projects going on when it comes to beautifying your home. Um, but also changing the dynamics within the house with your family members and um, changing things up like in a constructive way to where your personal relationships within the family are improved. And so with the sextile with Jupiter and Uranus in your sixth house, you're implementing things maybe in your daily routine that could benefit your family home, your family life. Uh, you may be implementing things... Um, <clears throat> that are coming from discoveries about your health uh, that are benefiting benefiting your family life. Like, for example, you may discover that you need to walk more, so you decide to do this activity with a family member. And so you get this amazing, amazing blessings with Jupiter and Uranus in your sixth house to your health, to your daily routine, to your day-to-day -day job even, because this is the house of day-to-day -day job. Uh, that's very beneficial to you that just helps you so much in your life in the way how you feel in your physical body you may get suddenly healed um you know it all depends on your personal chart but this is a very high possibility a very high chance here and i have made a video with jupiter and your for jupiter and uranus conjunction that's happening in april so make sure to check that out if you haven't um to really be able to take advantage of this period of time if you've really wanted to implement new things in your routine that um is going to benefit you or if you're really hoping to heal from some type of sickness this could be the time that you might achieve that if you make the necessary changes um we, especially with the eclipse being here the eclipse is preparing the scenario the eclipse is removing unhealthy things from your life and adding new things that are beneficial to you and for you sagittarius this is happening through your social circles through social media through the internet through things that are you know 11th house related to be able to receive the blessings that you're going to receive with Jupiter and Uranus conjunction um, that's happening in April. So amazing, amazing time to receive some potential wonderful blessings that are going to be life-changing. And with the eclipse, things tend to be life-changing. Okay, Sagittarius, um, this is the astrological weather of the eclipse that's happening in Libra. If you liked and resonated with this video, please remember to give it a like and to subscribe. Hello Capricorns, Capricorn suns, moons and risings. The eclipse is happening in your 10th house of career, public reputation and public persona. A lot of you Capricorns are having incredible changes when it comes to your career. Um, some old career that's not serving you anymore is going to, remo to be removed from your life. But on the other hand, you may have this new career that suits you, suits your needs, suits your personality, suits your mission that you're supposed to have in this life. That's going to be life-changing and that's going to be suddenly um, put in your life. Um, it could also be that your public persona changes, your public status changes. You know, you could go from single to engaged from married to divorced um anything that's real that's you that you are really known for could be changing with this eclipse it could either be removed from your life or something new may be added to where it benefits you now as i said with the other signs also eclipses are unpredictable in nature uh, they are often referred to as full moons and steroids and their nature is very uranium they are unpredictable but what i want to say with that is that um Whatever happens in your life during this time, just know that it's quite faded. The nodes are faded. Things are supposed to happen this way. And with eclipses is often 99.99% of the time, there are blessings in disguise. So if you're having a change that you don't like, it's a blessing in disguise. Like it's going to make sense. It's going to benefit you in the long run. It's going to benefit your soul, your purpose, your mission, the way how you're viewed in your life. Now, on the other hand, you may achieve this career you've always wanted this exposure you've always wanted in your 10th house that's going to be shocking that's going to be very rewarding for you that's going to change your life forever it's going to change how people view you it's going to change your career the way how you make money if you're not in the um 
you know, if you're not working anymore, uh, you could change the way how others view you, but in a positive way, in a fated way. And this is the south node. This eclipse is happening with a south node, which means that you're getting rewarded for your past deeds. If you don't believe in past lives, it could also be the work you've done in this life, in your years, in your past years, when it comes to your career, when it comes to the way how you want to be perceived by the world, when it comes to the way how you want to be known in the world, how you contribute. Um, and so Pluto is supporting the eclipse from your second house of personal income, money and values. So for a lot of you Capricorns, you're changing the way how you make money. Or it could be that you're using your personal finances to change your career, to change how you are being viewed from the world. It could also be that you're being um, inspired now to make necessary transformations to your self-worth, to your self-confidence, the way how you view yourself, the way how you value yourself, that is going to be reflected in amazing changes in the way how others view you, in your public persona, and in your career. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, at the time of the eclipse, the North Node is going to still be in conjunction to Chiron in your fourth house. So, for a lot of you Capricorns, you're learning from your past mistakes. You're learning from your past relationships with your family members. You're accept accepting them from who for who they are, um, for the things that have they have contributed in your life for the the way how they've changed your life you're accepting them you're healing from them and so this conjunction of the node node and chiron in your fourth house is really helping you improve your home situation improve how you relate to your family dynamics and relationships um and this amazing um healing that's happening is being reflected reflected in your 10th house, in the way how others view you. Um, because, you know, the eclipse is happening in your 10th, it triggers the 4th house, it goes back and forth. So other people could be seeing this improvement in your family life, in your identity. This is an, ang an angular house. So the way how you view yourself, your identity, your physical body is also being changed. Um, but also your partnerships, the seventh house, you're getting these amazing changes, these opportunities, um, new people being added to your life that are benefiting your career, are benefiting the way how you're viewed by the world. But at the same time, individuals that are not serving you anymore are being removed in a way that benefits you, in a way that improves, again, your public life, your family life, uh, your identity, your self-worth. So this is an incredible time during this eclipse to make amazing, amazing, life-changing um, actions that are going to just change things for good for you. And that is because during this eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus from your third house, sex selling Jupiter and Uranus in your uh, fifth house. And the fifth house where this amazing conjunction is happening between Jupiter and Uranus it's the house, it's a positive house. So it's a house of good luck, a house of gambling, the house of fun, entertainment, of children. So you might get these um, blessings, amazing blessings in your fifth house matters. That's going to be life changing. And the eclipse is really setting the scenario for that, is making the necessary changes for you to receive these incredible blessings. And Jupiter and Uranus are five degrees away from each other now. At the time of the eclipse but they are going to be exactly conjunct in april so these incredible changes blessings that you're going to have are going to peak in april and i do have a video dedicated to that if you haven't checked that out make sure you do so uh, but this this eclipse is really preparing the scenery for these amazing blessings coming to your life now with saturn and venus in your third house you might receive some pleasant communication um, be it verbally or in writing, that is going to benefit your creative abilities, your creative projects, uh, and the way how you approach life, like the way how you see life, the way how you have fun, 
and entertain yourself. It could also be some kind of communication when it comes to gambling. Even the stock market. Um, because for some astrologers, the fifth house is associated with the stock market. So you might receive this communication, um, especially, you know, for example, if you're, you're in those discords where people tell you what to buy and to sell. And you might receive this kind of communication that sets you up for some type of success in your fifth house. Um, in the way how you make money. Uh, at the same time, the third house is the house of com of um, publishing, of sales. If you are in that industry, you might receive some kind of support from the heavens that is going to really benefit you. Um, and that's going to change the way how others view you. It could set you up for some type of career when it comes to this uh, field, um, especially with the eclipse um, happening in your in your 10th house. Um, so yeah Capricorns this is kind of the astrological weather during this eclipse so sorry for my voice you are the 10th zodiac <laughs> that I'm um, making the prediction for but anyway if you liked and resonated with this video please remember to like and to subscribe and to come back on my next one Hello dear Aquarius, Aquarius suns, moons and risings. This eclipse is happening in your ninth house of higher knowledge, of foreign travel, of legal matters and spirituality. Um, I see this incredible new opportunity you might have to travel abroad. That's very shocking, very sudden. At the same time for you... Um, Aquarius is you might receive this opportunity to join a university to get some higher degree or to just learn a lot gain more knowledge through spiritual experiences or by meeting people in uh, foreign lands or people that come from a different background so you might have this amazing opportunities showing up in your life quite suddenly but at the same time eclipses tend to um, remove things from our lives so you might also have this opportunity that's not good for you, that's not serving you anymore, being removed from your life. You might, you know, not want to attend some type of university anymore because it's not serving you. You're not learning as much from it. So you decide to go away from it or it's taking some in some way away from you. Um, eclipses are quite faded in nature. They are quite unpredictable. They're like full moon is steroids um and they are uranian in nature so very shocking very unpredictable but at the same time they are karmic uh which means that in one way or the other they are always going to benefit you so if you have a pleasant experience something shows up in your life lands on your lap you get this amazing opportunity to travel to meet people from different backgrounds to learn more to become an authority when it comes to teaching other people on certain things if that happens that's awesome that's great you're going to get you know very blessed at the same time though if something is removed from your life you know it's a blessing in disguise it's supposed to be like that um to benefit you in your soul progression in your soul evolution and to achieve the goal and the mission that you have in this life so embrace it um this eclipse is being supported by pluto in your first house of identity and physical uh, body so <clears throat> For a lot of you Aquariuses, you're already you're already feeling this transformation going on in your identity, in who you are, in how you want to be seen by others, in how you perceive yourself, and also in your physical body. And so you may have this sudden opportunity to gain some higher knowledge that's going to benefit your identity. Or it could be that something you've discovered about yourself really helps you choose the right thing when it comes to studying something, when it comes to making a lot of research work about, when it comes to pursuing some type of university, some type of higher degree, or just spirituality, just higher knowledge when it comes to any topic that you're interested in. So something about yourself, some transformation you've made in yourself, some type of discovery about you really helps you make the right choice during this eclipse. And the eclipse could also bring something sudden to your life to where you increase your self-worth. You, uh, you understand that you are quite independent. You, can, you are quite self-reliant. You can depend on your skills and abilities to make yourself happy, to change your life. Um, and you're being shown this through the eclipse that's happening um, in your ninth house. 
at the time of the eclipse, the North Node is in conjunction to Chiron in your third house. So a lot of you Aquariuses are learning a lot from the way how you communicate and accepting yourself for mistakes you've made in the past news and things that have maybe made you feel uncomfortable you're learning from them you're accepting them for what they are and you are using them to empower you you're using them to improve the way how you come across to other people on the way how you communicate on the way how you relate to other people um the north node here is really teaching you that you have to work on your communication abilities to be able to achieve your soul potential, your soul mission in this life. It's quite karmic in nature. And with the eclipses happening in the opposite axis, or sorry, yeah, in the opposite sign, um, you're learning that there is no other way. You have to learn these communication skills to be able to achieve the ninth house matters, to achieve higher knowledge, to improve your relationships, to go into journeys that improve your soul that benefit your soul that give you this knowledge this love for life this passion for life um, and the eclipse is really helping you understand that and achieve that at the same time if you are in the sales industry writing publishing you're learning from your past mistakes um, to make the right steps and to approach this industry in a wiser way in a smarter way to where this wounded healer that's transiting um, the third house really becomes the the wounded leader, the wounded authoritative figure that is trusted by others, um, that people listen to, uh, that benefits you, you know, in your industry, in your business, it, in your work, in any area of your life that uh, that's associated with the third house. At the time of the eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus from your second house sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your fourth house. So you may be using a lot of personal finances to make some kind of improvement in your fourth house matters. In the life of a family member, in your real estate, um, in the way how you approach your family life in general, you have this amazing, amazing energy with Jupiter and Uranus in your fourth house that's going to be life-changing for you and for you Aquarius especially because it's happening in an angular house it's um, aspecting your first house of identity it's aspecting your 10th house of career public persona the way you've viewed by other people but also your seventh house of partnerships of collaborations of um, agreements that you make with other people so the eclipse is really preparing the field preparing the scenario for you to receive these incredible blessings in your life uh, Jupiter and Uranus are five degrees away from each other during this eclipse and they are going to be exact conjunct in April um, and I have a video on that that's dedicated to just that conjunction make sure to check that out if you haven't yet um, but this conjunction is really going to give you incredible blessings. Like some of your Aquariuses could become homeowners. You could increase the number of your real estate properties. Uh, for others of you, you can have this addition to your family. Maybe you um, have a child joining you. You could have, a, I don't know, a brother-in-law, a sister-in-law, a grandparent, a parent joining your family. Um, or just shocking blessings in your family life that just improves you improves the way how you feel improves how you are seen by others others will see that aura will see that happiness that's just you know blessing you um and they will see it it's going to be you know quite public because fourth house is the opposite the opposite of tenth house so they can see that also um but during this eclipse we also have saturn um in your second house with venus that are blessing your way of making money Saturn here is really asking you to um, have some constructive way on the way how you generate income on the way how you spend your money but also your self-worth so you might be working on understanding yourself more embracing yourself more loving yourself more so that you can generate more income you can improve your relationships with um, your family members you can embark journeys that are going to be beneficial to you spiritually 
or to simply remove bad habits that could have been affecting your um, income, that could have been affecting your knowledge, your spirituality, or your family dynamics. Um, okay, Aquarius, says, I think this is an incredible time to make some necessary changes um, to be able to receive incredible blessings in, in April when we have the other eclipse, but also the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction. I really hope you'd receive all the wonderful blessings that you deserve during this eclipse season and this eclipse in particular. Um, and if you liked and resonated with this video, please remember to show some support, to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Hello Pisces suns, moons and risings. The eclipse is happening in your 8th house of shared resources, investments, taxes and the subconscious mind. A lot of you Pisces might have some kind of shared resource being taken away from your life. Or it could be that you um, have this new shared resource coming to your life. And um, it could be that your partner or your family member... Uh, receive some kind of opportunity that increases your shared income uh, that blesses you financially it could also be that you have or discover this sudden shocking opportunity to make a lot of money through investments um, or it could be that some type of investment that was not serving you anymore could be removed from your life um, you may also um, gain some understanding and some light when it comes to your self-sabotaging patterns uh, especially psychologically that you realize that could have been holding you back from achieving your highest potential so this eclipse could shed some light when it comes to that and you make the necessary changes to change that to improve yourself to gain more self-confidence and to um, transform yourself in a way to where you achieve your highest potential at the same time, it could be that this eclipse hides some self-sabotaging pattern from you, uh, from your life. Um, and by hides, I mean by removing it, by just clearing your subconscious mind, by clearing your psychological mind to where something that's unhealthy, that's not serving you anymore is completely removed. And so this could be very beneficial to you. Um, you may also understand that you have to pay more taxes in a shocking way you weren't expecting that or that you you know receive a tax refund if you are in the u.s especially um, that you weren't expecting now the nature of eclipses is quite faded unpredictable it's uranian in nature so unpredictable shocking at the same time it's like full moon in steroids so it could be an emotional time it could be a shocking time um, but eclipses are faded in nature and what I want to say with that is that whatever happens during this time, know that it's benefiting your soul in the long run. It's benefiting your soul mission. It's benefiting the goal that you have in this life. And so even if something uncomfortable happens, just know that it's benefiting you. It's a blessing in disguise. Um, but if incredible things are coming to your life, awesome, you know, just welcome them. Um, this eclipse is being supported by Pluto also from your 12th house of hidden things, hidden dimensions, foreign lands, and dreams. Uh, you may receive some kind of hidden support by individuals. People could be advocating behind the scenes for you, Pisces, that's benefiting your shared finances, your shared resources. Um, maybe a partner is doing something that's like hidden in some way but that increases your shared finances you can see that you're getting wealthier you know you're earning more money at the same time it could be the opposite to where a partner does something that is hidden secretly um, that removes some kind of investment or shared resources um, you may also receive a lot of downloads when it comes to your dreams uh, that could inspire you to make necessary changes when it comes to your shared finances, to investments. This could be any kind of investments, investments in the stock market, investments in, you know, real estate, any kind of investment you may have. So you might receive some kind of downloads and understanding on how to do so. The eclipse could also shed light um, through individuals who are in foreign lands, um, you know, if you have people that are in foreign lands or you, if you are in some type of industry that deals with foreigners, you might receive this sudden um, support from them that benefits you. Uh, or it could be that certain individuals that 
were harming you before um, are completely removed from your life. At the time of the eclipse, we also have the North Node in conjunction to Chiron in your second house. So for a lot of you Pisces, you're learning from your past mistakes when it comes to your second house matters. The way how you make money, the way how you spend money, but also your self-worth. You're understanding the past mistakes you've made. You're accepting them. You're accepting yourself when it comes to it. And you're making the necessary changes to make more money, to spend more money, uh, to spend money more wisely. And to maybe budget more. You're understanding, you know, where your money is going um, because of past um, past lessons, you know, that you've received. So that wounded healer, the Chiron, is helping you here become like a more author authoritative person. Become the um, more like wiser when it comes to making money and spending money. Um, and this is quite fated in nature. Uh, if you have made uh, good deeds in your past life like you're being rewarded financially right now if you don't believe in past lives it could be that you've made some good deeds in this life that are now coming back to you in the form of financial blessings in understanding and healing yourself from past mistakes when it comes to your finances and making the necessary changes to improve them to benefit them to um you know have a better quality of life also and also, this could be reflected in your self-worth, in how you view yourself, um, and your standards also. Uh, during the time of the eclipse, we also have Saturn and Venus in your first house, sextiling Jupiter and Uranus in your third house. Saturn is giving you amazing discipline here. Like I've, I have all my Pisces friends there are, that have entered these amazing routines, um, that have improved their lives just Saturn it has given them so much down to earth energy that Pisces are just flourishing from left and right and if that's the, not the case for you trust me you're going to receive some wonderful blessings and why do I say that I say that because Jupiter and Uranus are going to have this conjunction in April which I have a full video about but at the time of the eclipse, they are only five degrees away from each other. Some uh, um, astrologers could consider that as a conjunction. Some don't. To my opinion, it is a conjunction. Like they are very close to each other. So you might be receiving a lot of blessings when it comes to your to the way how you communicate. If you are in sales, uh, in your sales business, you might be receiving blessings in writing. If you are in the writing industry, publishing also. Or your your sibling is also receiving a lot of blessings, um, and so with with Saturn and Venus in your first house, you're gaining this understanding, this knowledge, this constructive um, knowledge, and ability to improve yourself, your identity, make the necessary changes in yourself to be able to receive these wonderful blessings that are going to be coming through the Jupiter and Uranus conjunction. You're making these constructive changes um, to the way how you want to be viewed by others. And, you know, Saturn here is in an angular house. So you're making the changes in your family home. You're making changes in your career. You're making changes in your partnerships. They're all benefiting you. And this will culminate a lot with Jupiter and Uranus conjunction in your third house. So you're going to receive this wonderful news, this wonderful communication, be it verbal or writing, um, that's going to be life-changing for you. And the eclipse is really setting the, the scenario for that. This is setting up the scenario for that to where you receive these wonderful blessings. Um, and like I said earlier, eclipses are quite fated in nature. So I would advise to just embrace what they bring, accept it, um, and be, you know, mutable just like you are. Like, be open-minded and receive all these changes that are being um, implemented in your life. Especially in your shared resources, in how you make money, in your finances, um, and in your subconscious mind, in your psychological world. You're going to receive this strength. Uh, when it comes to understanding yourself, but also in how you make money. Um, I want to also point out I have friends who have made a lot of money when their nose were in the uh, second and eighth house. Um, so just keep that in mind. Look for opportunities to make money through, you know, investments especially. Eighth house matters. Uh, but also, you know, in your creativity, 
uh, creative abilities you're Pisces after all you can just picture anything in your mind and with Saturn you can turn it into reality so take advantage of that I think this is an incredible time to make amazing changes in your life Pisces please take advantage of it um, and this is what I have for you if you liked and resonated with this video please remember to give it a like and to subscribe and I will see you on the next one